Sixty plus. Another beautiful day in LA. I'm with my man Unknown. Basically, we're waiting for the for the Uber right now, but we're about to head to Melrose, and um, we're just gonna go, you know, do the usual, check out the stores, see what the vibes are, you know, maybe buy some things. Yeah. Free game for Complex Con. You copping? Oh, we we have to go shopping, bro. Yeah, we gotta go shopping. Uh, we might link up with uh, some homies over there too. I can't even see. The sun's like in my eye. I thought it was gonna be cold, so I brought this hoodie, and now it's just freaking hot. What you got on feet today? Bruh, you know it's a hot day, so we gotta bring the flames out. Damn. I got the, the Jordan ones on, right here. You already know. Kick, Nike collab joints. Low key hype beast wearing the Supreme, but y'all don't know about it. Got the low key thing, Supreme thing's there. Low key. Low key, Gucci. low key. Low key, low key. All right, so yeah, let's head to Melrose and catch some vibes over there. All right, guys, back on Melrose again, man. It's like it's it's so packed today for a Friday. It's like a lot of people here. I feel like there's a lot of people from out of town that are here for Complex Con, so it's gonna be lit. Now I know I keep talking about Complex Con, but guys, don't forget Sneaker Con Vegas is next weekend. And I was talking to the Sneaker Con team, and I want to do something different. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a half court there, and I'm gonna play you guys one on one. And if you guys can beat me one on one, I'm gonna have a a wheel there, and you spin the wheel, and there's gonna be different prizes on there. So we're gonna have a little one on one contest at Las Vegas. Vegas sneaker con make sure you guys come guys let's flash back real quick to when he won the contest 12 artists across the globe there it is we are super excited there it is Sean. to announce the ultimate vintage curator and co-owner and honor of round two Sean Rose And now they're here. Kind of crazy. Yeah, the box this is, is uh, so lit. Yeah, thanks, yeah. This is one of the ones that would be like one of a thousand pairs. It's got like the more air. Wow. These pairs will come with like uh, three different lace options. This patch that like, I wanted to include this in there because I wanted people to kind of like get creative and put on something random. I don't yeah. know, like their hat or like a jacket iron or on. yeah, a backpack, yeah. like iron on. And then the corduroy dust bag. Oh wow. Yeah. I want to feel the inner like. Oh yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's all you like fuck with it. It's velvet, right? Yeah, yeah, all, velour. all like velour. Wow. Yeah, so the velour goes from like the whole insole, so, so toe to heel, yeah. sock liner, and then the under of the tongue oh, too. Oh yeah, sock liner yeah. like that? So was there anything they said like no to or they just no that's you know it's interesting i was just talking to someone about that earlier nike didn't say no to anything dude really? this was like and that's what they kept saying they were like look like when i whenever i would call nike like yo what about this they'd be like stop asking they're like just do it <laughs> yeah like this is the first time ever that nike is giving you the opportunity to like just completely like fantasize a shoe you know and they were like we're down to make it happen so i even keep looking back i'm like did i use it to my potential like yeah, did i yeah. Did no, I fully? Like, nah, thanks. There's always like, on sneaker drops, there's always like, oh, I wish I had this. I know, I Yours know. like has everything. Nah, thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah. Cause I keep thinking, I'm like, damn, should I done this, that, nah, but. I think it's perfect. No, so happy. are you allowed to say like, how's it dropping or is it just yeah. first come? The info, yo, so. Cause this is going up tomorrow, so yeah, yeah. we'll be there. So pretty much um, like these thousand pairs, they're uh, coming out like this month, like throughout the, the length of the month. Complex Con, we're not really selling any pairs. I just have like 25, 30 pairs that I'm gifting there. Mm -hmm. And then Nike sent me a few extras to give people, but I think I'm just gonna end up raffling them. Nice. Like I'm gonna, cause it'll just be more yeah. fun that way. So yeah. I'm gonna raffle them at Complex Con. Then 250 pairs come out at Undefeated this month. Oh wow. 250 pairs come out at uh, Need Supply in Richmond, Virginia this month. I have a special thing going on with Nike where I'm gonna give away 200 pairs wow. between two different days. And then I'm gifting like another two, 300 pairs. So that's the thousand pairs right there of yeah. this special box. And then the full on release is Air Max Day, I think, or March. Oh, okay. Sometime so, in March. Yeah, so there'll be more pairs than just a thousand. Yeah. Nice, sweet. Tons, tons. All right, well, guys, good luck this weekend. Well, yeah, we if, you, if you can get it. All right, guys, so no pickup for me, but I just want to actually get, take you guys to back to the crib because I have an unboxing from yesterday. I actually got some, like, something crazy. Tell them to hit the intro. Hit the intro. Gang, gang. Yo, whoa, whoa. How you doing? Kind of mom, yes, sir, it's going to be crazy. Your success to you. Thank you, thank you. Hell yeah, appreciate you. Do it for the culture. Do it for the culture, Do it for my the man. Culture. Hit the intro now. 
What's in the box? All right, guys. So obviously you were expecting an expect. Obviously you guys were expecting an unboxing, and I just took my third L, and you'll probably understand what I'm talking about later in the vlog. But basically, I deleted my unboxing. I'm an idiot, and I deleted it. So basically, I already have the shoe right here, but it's unboxed. So so here they are, guys. I got these off of the Goat app. I'm kind of crapped out right now, so I'm sorry if my energy's down. But basically, yeah, I got these off the Goat app, and this is an early pair of Yeezys. To my knowledge, this is the most limited Yeezy from Adidas. And this is a colorway that a lot of people aren't feeling, but I actually really, really like them. I didn't like them at first just because I thought it was fake when I saw pictures of them. I thought it was like a fake pair. But then I saw Kanye wearing them and I was like, okay, I got excited. I'm like, okay, that's a legit Yeezy. I love the colorway. This color, I feel like is super popping for the fall slash winter time. Yup, I made a hoodie. Shout out to Fire Kicks with the assist. I made a hoodie inspired by this sneaker and it goes perfect with it. This is my 10 year anniversary merch. I didn't want to just buy them off of anywhere because I wanted to make sure they were 100% legit. So I got them off of GOAT just because I know that I could trust the people at GOAT to verify it and make sure that I got my money's worth with this sneaker. So I ordered them off of GOAT. GOAT authenticated them. They were all wrapped up. I got the authentication card, but unfortunately, like I said, I accidentally deleted that footage. So the only thing I have right now is the box and the sneakers, but I will tell you guys that I did get these from GOAT. And if you guys want to download GOAT, you know what it is in the description box down below. Check it out. Bam. These have been called the McDonald's wrapper Yeezys. They've been called the semi samurai Yeezys or something like that, but I just called these the gum bottom Yeezy vaults. I'm, that's a weird name. I'm gonna call these the gum bottom. So basically, this is probably the loudest Yeezy that has come out, and I think it's perfect for the winter time. And I honestly cannot wait to wear these. As you can see, you've got it all vault, bright lime green, whatever you call it, color on the main base of the shoe. The zebra print is kind of like a very light faded purple, I guess that's how you describe it. You've got the Supply 350, which I would say is an orange. Some people will say it's a red, I think it's orange. And then it's pretty cool because the lining on the back little pull tab is actually a, like a mustard yellow. So there's a ton of colors on here and then a lot of people don't like the gum bottom. I'm a fan of it just because you don't have a Yeezy with a gum bottom and it goes all the way to the bottom plate, all the way to this back tab. I feel like that bothers a lot of people, but I'm actually a fan of it. I think it makes the shoe very unique. Yeah, man, there's not too much to say to you guys. Like I know Yeezy Busta did get these off of GOAT as well. So, I mean, if my word isn't trusted enough, <laughs> Yeezy Busta's, he got them and he approved them too. So it's like, yeah, Yeezys from GOAT, authentic. Very happy I pulled the trigger on these and got these early because what I heard is 4,000 pairs. Now, I don't know how accurate that is, but if only they made only 4,000 pairs, that's pretty limited and the price might go up on these. So let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of people are going to say these are so freaking ugly. It's, it's, it's an acquired taste, you know what I'm saying? You got to acquire it. Even though you're half asleep, what do you think? Bruh, these are like so high, highly clapped. I was gonna say highlighter, but I didn't want to offend you, so I was gonna say clapped. <laughs> and then I combined both words. <laughs> yeah. Same color. Y'all sleeping. Y'all told me it's not the same color. Y'all sleeping. Yo, dad, that's the biggest hype piece, bro. I am the biggest hype piece. What do you think of these? I love them. They're really nice. You like them? You gonna cop? Uh, yeah, definitely, because resale is very, 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 very high. Comment on the section below if you want me to resell them or keep them. You got my, I might do a raffle giveaway. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got a guest finally welcome back bro. I'm back in this thing, you know, I'm you back in LA. Know. You already know. Yeah, okay, it. my man has the best Instagram account. He goes live four days a week. <laughs> no, four times a day, my bad. He four goes live times four times a day. I like to interact, you know? I like bro, to interact. Like I'll, I'll get on like at 4 a.m. and man's is like, yo, Banks was good. What up, Chief? Are you out here? Like 4 a.m. I like I'm just like I get on Instagram, I see your live streaming, I tune in, your shirt's off. <laughs> always his shirts off bro, I'm in my own home bro people always get on me and I'm like do people like really wear like all their nice clothes in their own home I mean I don't know for me like I'm always shirtless half the time to be honest they don't see this part but I'm in my boxers I'm not even wearing pants oh, sure. uh, supreme, boxers. supreme boxers though you already know it's supreme boxers supreme? wait wait oh, you know, hi yeah. Yeah. Hi -bees, baby. Three pairs hi -bees, baby. really but did you get the new ones though the camo ones of course. yeah I got, them, yeah. I got them bro I got them bro I got them when are you gonna invite us to the new crib come to Atlanta come back Look, they're matching, guys. They're on like no, don't oh, see this. No, no, no. Hide your shoes. 
I got the most fire though. I'm just gonna take my dog. Yeah, all right, guys. So I don't. I haven't bought anything. I'm like waiting for tomorrow with Complex Con, and I guess I can announce it now. But pretty much, as you guys know, I am gonna be wearing the Jordan ones when I go to Complex Con. But then I also got reached out to by Adidas, and Adidas wants me to host their raffle uh, or it's like a, I don't I don't know what to call it it's like the Adidas Expo they're giving like a whole bunch of rare things I'll give more info on it tomorrow when I get there like there's gonna be like one of one like I can't bro I can't even tell you guys right now but tomorrow's vlog at Complex Con you will see the stuff that I will be auctioning off I'm low-key excited what, do you, what are you gonna cop tomorrow I'm trying not to buy anything today so I can just spend that's what I just said I got money tomorrow I anticipate spending a lot of money Alright guys, so let's troll some guys, people in the Supreme line. Excuse me sir, how long How long have you been waiting in the Supreme line? Well, I've been here for uh, 17 days. Uh, <laughs> I just, I, I just, I think, I think this is the right line. I, 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 I keep wanting to get some Supreme. But nah, dude, this is the haircut me. line. There's a barber shop right next to Supreme. Oh, for real? So I can just walk right into Supreme? Then. No line? Nah, they got no line at their booth. Uh, no line at their booth. <laughs> well, I might not even be able to wait for Supreme because I might need to go get this photo before the sunset. Damn, when Instagram is more important than the Supreme drop. Uh, Instagram been more important than Supreme, baby. Lit. Bro, Mans is out here trying to take pictures, getting hit by bus buses and whatnot. Hey, show him, show him, hold on, show him your technique with the camera, bro. This guy's got next level tripods. I be talking like this, and then I be like this. <laughs> Wait, why are we going back? This is in London, bro. You can't just cross this. Oh my God, we about to get killed, bro. <laughs> These guys are wilding right now, bro. Yo, I yeah, that's just the oh my god, we just crossed the road. <laughs> Bruh. I want to get that photo though. Okay. Frogger. <laughs> Frogger. <laughs> Harrison. Harrison, bro. Did you? <laughs> and as you can see right here, we have some beautiful night. Hello, guest camera. Uh, I'm Harrison Neville. Here we have some beautiful off white SB blazers. These things are absolutely gorgeous. I love the attention to detail right here with the orange little flap of flap We got the shoelace that says shoelace. Yeah, this is definitely five out of five fire emojis. Fire emojis. Please put the emojis fire. on the screen. t -Wop, please put the fire emojis on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so we're at Banks' crib right now and I got to give you guys, so I bought the iPhone 10, okay? I, and I, I wasn't home so I was like expecting it to get delivered and I have like a, a locker system and apparently somebody signed for my phone like they try FedEx tried to deliver it and somebody signed for my damn phone and I don't know who that person is so I'm kind of like been tripping all day but like bro like that's an iPhone 10 you know what I'm saying it's the first day hopefully it didn't get st stolen as Harrison you know sets up for his unboxing unbox he's doing an unboxing guys and he's gonna do it on the stripper pole yo yep. anyway guys yo I'll check in with you guys hopefully my, I find my phone uh, if not, I'm gonna, you know, spend these bands right here. You know what I'm saying? This, this is fake money, by the way. Fake money. All right, guys. So back at the crib, and it was a dope ass day. First of all, before I get into like the crap out scenario right now, I just want to say that today was a dope ass day. Having like unknown here, Jacob and Harrison here, and and then also meeting Banks for the first time, like. It was super, super chill. Appreciate Banks for letting us come out to the clout house and hanging out. I didn't pick up anything as far as like shopping. I think he bought, you bought like a necklace, right? Oh yeah, I bought an ambush chain of like 280 and I've got a Supreme T. Supre yeah, he bought a Supreme T. But yeah, so I didn't buy anything, but whatever. It was like dope vibes, dope, dope day. But <sighs> man, I'm very, very crapped out because I was hoping that my damn phone was by my door but it's not and basically I keep checking the tracking just for some type of update and it says that it was delivered and it was signed for 
by somebody and the name starts, I'm not going to say the person's name because it might be like one of my neighbors or something, but it says it was signed for at 5.30 p.m. I don't know if that's somebody like in the front office, like I said, I'm going to actually go talk to the security gate person and see if they can find that name. Yo, if somebody stole my iPhone, like I'm going to be so crapped out because I wanted it in time for complex con to like take pictures and like, bro, like I paid in full for it. Like I paid straight up for it. So I, like if I lose the phone, not only I, will I not be able to get the phone for like a while because it's like so high demand right now but like I'll lose like $1,300 like uh it freaking sucks man bro that's the exchange rate so far let me see $8,000 you about to buy a Bitcoin oh uh, you know we have to bull man well, for the future buying LV in, in Bitcoin video coming soon like we've been talking about Bitcoin like since you got here like I didn't fully know what it was, but it's like, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. If you're an investor, some like a lot of people invest into it and make a lot of money into it. I'm not gonna get into it just cause I, I fully don't understand it, but it's like, it's kind of interesting to me, but like it's its own whole like topic, but I don't know. It's just like if anybody had Bitcoin a few, like earlier this year, you sitting on, a couple, years, a couple ago. years ago, yeah, you're sitting on. If you put a thousand dollars into Bitcoin and like a while back you, we we'll probably be a millionaire by now. Millionaire in Bitcoins, meaning. Yeah. Buy that Lambo. It's like free Bitcoins. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to end the vlog right here. But let me tell you guys, if you are at Complex Con, I will be hosting the Adidas Expo. Um, like, I, I still don't know what it's called, bro. Horrible, horrible. Next weekend, we're going to be at Sneaker Con Vegas. So make sure you guys pull up to that. And then, yeah, I'm out of here. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Jumping in the